Looking for elemental shaman gear you can snag in pre-patch that lasts until pre-raid bis? Then my spreadsheet is exactly what you're looking for. It covers all the PvP gear with the cost per item in honor points and marks, how long each item lasts on your way to 70, which items replace them, where to get them, and of course the total number for just armor, weapons, and everything combined. Before we get into that, I just want to make sure that you're aware of the changes to the PvP system that TBC Prepatch brings along and a secret tip that a lot of people are forgetting about. The traditional rank requirement for gear is removed, as is the reputation requirement for rep gear. Instead, you accrue honor points for participating in battlegrounds, and each battleground rewards you its own respective mark. It's three marks for a win and one mark for a loss. You save those points and marks up to then spend on PvP gear. So that secret tip is that you can build up your reserves of honor points and battleground marks, which stack up to 100 by the way, in preparation for when you hit level 70. Then you can head straight to the PvP gear vendor and snag some seriously powerful gear the moment you ding, which can get you some pre-raid bis or better gear instantly. I'll be putting those items worth getting into a video and a spreadsheet very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to not miss out on that and future TBC videos. And with that said, let's crack on with the gear in pre-patch that you can target which will last you until pre-raid bis. So the spreadsheet is laid out from left to right to show you the level 60 PvP item name, the item slot, on a point cost, the number of marks and which battleground you need to target to get those marks, a link to the item in the TBC Classic database, and then the name of the most solid item upgrade that you'll get in Outland, the earliest level that you can get that item, again a link to the item in the TBC Classic database, and then any comments that are worth bearing in mind and possible alternatives that you should consider. I've also got some color coding and effect as well as I'm always updating these spreadsheets for all classes as part of my ongoing feedback from the community or discoveries that I make during my research. Green is for items that are strongly recommended. Yellow are still decent items but don't last quite as long as the others. Orange are recommended but they have comments worth considering and finally red for items that would be green and definitely worth picking up but I'm holding out with a little bit of skepticism over these items and further research is required. If you can help out with these please drop a comment or contact me on discord so I can make further amendments as we go along. All right, so I'm not going to lie, the elemental shamans are looking pretty solid here. So solid that I've ended up marking more items than I usually do as red because I'm so skeptical of how long this level 60 PvP gear is going to last when matched up against the Ellie Shams pre-raid list. The crazy thing here is that even if my research is a little off, the items are so strong and competitive, they're still worth going for. First up, we've got three guaranteed decent items that will last you at least to level 68. That's the General Mail's Boots, High Warlord Spellblade, and the Blood Guard's Male Vices, which are replace that at level 60 by the best pre-raid bis hands for Ellie Shamans. So these are worth grabbing for sure. Next up, we have the Warlord's Male Helm and Champion's Male Pauldrons. These also last until 68 and were replaced by completing the long ass Shadow Moon Valley quest line required for attunement to the eye. Now those are group quests and not soloable. So depending on who you are leveling with and how you're getting to 70, it's likely that you'll want to grab the PvP items here and they'll last you until your group is ready to do the Shadow Moon quest lines. Then we've got the Warlord's Male Armor and the Dryad's Wrist Bindings. These items can last you all the way to 70 and are replaced by the pre-raid bis, if not better than pre-raid items that are crafted from level working. I've included alternatives to those who aren't picking up level working, but again, two extremely worthwhile level 60 PvP items to grab in the pre-patch. And last and possibly by no means least are the General Mail's Leggings, the Legionnaire's Male Leg Guards, and the High Warlord's Shield Wall. I need to conduct a little bit further research to be absolutely certain of these, but it's looking like both the epic and blue versions of the level 60 PvP legs hold up until level 60. 70, where you would replace them with the crafted spell strike pants from tailoring or the Kuranai kilt which requires revered with Kuranai or Magar respectively so these will last a pretty long time and the last item was the warlord's shield wall and that doesn't really provide much of a bonus other than block stam and a little chance on hit nature damage it does provide competitive amounts of stamina until replaced at level 70 but my gut feeling is that the level 60 pvp shield is not worth picking up here i genuinely think a quest reward or a dungeon drop that has better stats for ellie shamans is definitely going to be more worth your time whether it's increasing your mana pool your mana regen or just flat damage if you've got any items that i need to know about please drop a message in the comments or ping me on discord so i can take a look and update the spreadsheet as needed be sure to share this resource with guildies and friends as i'll continue making my way through all classes and the relevant specs subscribe to see more videos drop a like or dislike to let me know how you found the video head over to twitch and drop a follow to catch me live and hopefully i will see you next time peace